writers. But uh, he's in Los Angeles ready for the Oscars, uh, which take place tomorrow night. And after a year that saw Spider-Man rescue the box office and Daniel Craig say goodbye to James Bond, tomorrow's Academy Awards will reflect the momentous year that, what, that it was in Hollywood. A really interesting a range of films as well. Ahead of the event, our Los Angeles correspondent Sophie Long has been speaking to the actor Kieran Hines, who stars in the hit film Belfast, nominated for seven awards. My mom says if we went across the water, they wouldn't understand the way we talk. Shouldn't be a problem. I've been married to your granny for 50 years. I've never understood a word you said. <laughs> what do you want? I want you and my granny to come too. It is Ken's story of his childhood, but in the way, I didn't have that dissimilar a childhood either. And uh, what was thrilling was when Ken asked me very generously, he said, would you mind if I sent you the script? And I said I wouldn't mind at all. And uh, there was something almost immediately as I was reading it that I, I, I knew that this was true to the times and true to the place. And uh, it brought me back to my roots. Well, not dead, back here. <laughs> How could I leave Belfast? Everybody likes them and everybody looks after them. Belfast will still be here when you get back. Will you? I'm going nowhere you won't find me. Just take me back to that moment then, when you heard that you were nominated. Where were you and... Uh... I was at um, St Pancras International Station, en route to Paris, where my wife was. And I was going through security and coat, and uh, suddenly there was a ping, which I wasn't expecting, and I looked over. And then it pinged again, and then the thing started moving through the uh, security uh, scanner, and then came out the other side and there was another 10 pings and, <laughs> and then I picked it up not understanding what was happening and I was ushered quickly through passport control and it was still pinging away and by the time I got through that um, 25 pings later um, I thought something desperate or something glorious has happened and uh, I opened it up and that's how I found out. So you're all alone at St Pancras station? I was. I didn't share it with anybody. Didn't I you? I kept it quietly to myself. You yeah. didn't stand there going, oh, excuse me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I know you don't know me and probably don't want to, but um, no, I didn't do that. What did those boys not come back from that? They did. You know we have to cut things out of the papers and explain how they got there? If they did get there, they did get to the moon. It's not what it says here. God doesn't like it. And when you're sharing the experience with um, a wonderful cast and director and I mean among them of course Judy Dench yeah, Judy. Uh, she had any words of wisdom and advice Dame mm -hmm. Judy Judy wouldn't Judy is so uh, so wonderful she just she's such an extraordinary uh, human being apart from her brilliant gift as, a, as an actor she's a phenomenally warm funny and uh, dry witty person she um, I, I imagine her her uh, advice would be as it was in the film that we played husband and wife get on with it mister you know, I think that's what she'd say with a, with a smile and a twinkle. Mm, the Oscars uh, tomorrow night. You've seen Belfast. Yeah, you? You like I it? liked it. I wasn't blown away by it. The little child in it is amazing. Mm. But you've seen that film about the golf. <laughs> this is about my level. <laughs> yeah, but, but this sounds great. It's Phantom of the Open. Story. It's really good. It came out last Friday. It, it really is. It's a, a guy called Morris Flitcroft who blagged his way into the Open. Yeah. Uh, he was a Barrow crane driver back yeah. in the 70s. Yeah. Really good story. One of the greatest actors of our generation playing the, the main character, Mark Rylance, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. It's yeah. supposed to be great. Yeah. It is really good. It's written by the guy who, uh, the horrible histories guy, um, oh, Simon Farnaby. Fantastic, yeah. Really good, yeah. really good. Anyway, we digress. It's kind of got a sporting thread, hasn't it? Yes, well, it has, yeah. <laughs> Link to the golf. Yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> and for our next installment, I'll take you to the Caribbean, shall I? Yes, please.